Hello everyone! I'd like to welcome you back to this video tutorial series on learning to build with Open Simulator. My name is Michael Bailey with Avacon, and I'm also known as Marcus Llewellyn around various virtual worlds. As you look around Open Simulator, you will notice that objects are not only made up of shapes, but also patterns, known as textures. Great looking objects have great looking textures. In this tutorial, you will learn how to apply great looking textures to everything you build. We will learn how to put graphics and images, or textures, onto objects that you create. We're going to learn how to change the color and transparency of an object, and we're going to learn how to change the size of the texture on an object. Every avatar in Open Simulator has an OpenSim library in their inventory, and this library also contains textures you can use. You open your inventory and scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see a folder called OpenSim Library. When you open that folder and scroll down, you will find another folder called Texture Library. Opening that folder will show you a bunch of images or textures. To preview an image, double click on it and a preview window will show up showing you what a texture looks like. When you're done looking at the texture, just close the preview window. Another way to get textures is to either create your own or find a website that specializes in either public domain or Creative Commons licensed content. You want to make sure to avoid copyrighted content unless you've properly gotten the rights to it. For example, Pixabay.com has many Creative Commons licensed images that you can download and use for free for any purpose. Once you've created or downloaded an image, all you need to do is upload it to get it in world and into your inventory. To do that, we're going to look at the top of our viewer and look for the build menu. When you open your build window, we're going to look down until we find the upload option. And then we want the image option. Be aware that some grids will charge you to upload an image. The Avicon grid does not charge you anything. So let's go ahead and click on image. And I have a texture all ready to upload. Just select the texture you would like to upload and click on open. The browser will show you a preview window. If it's the texture that you want to upload, go ahead and click on the upload button. Your inventory will automatically open and show the texture that you just uploaded. Now that we've learned about textures in our inventory, we can now finally apply some textures to an object. Let's begin by opening our build window and resing a cube. In our build window, we we'll want to make sure that the Texture tab is selected. And one of the things that we'll see in the Texture tab is a little preview window. And this shows us what texture is currently applied to our cube. In this case, the plywood texture, which is always the default texture. To change this, let's just click on that little preview window and a texture picker will pop up. We can either look in the folders ourselves, or we can type in a search word at the top. For example, wood, to find the texture that we want. I'm going to go ahead and use hardwood. That selects this texture and applies it to the prim. I can now click OK on the texture picker to close it. As you can see, 
The cube now has a whole new texture. It looks a lot better than it did when it just had the plywood texture on it. Each face or side of a prim can have a different texture. To change the texture of each face, let's look at our build window. And at the top, you'll see an option called Select Face. Click on that. Now, if we click on a face on our prim, let's say the top. You'll see that it becomes highlighted. It is white on the edges, and there's a circle with a crosshatch in the middle. Now, if we open our texture picker and choose a texture, you'll see that that texture has only been applied to the face that we chose. We select a different face and a different texture, it will be applied on that face. And so on. Take some time to use your new building skills and res some prims of different shapes and different sizes and then texture them. Notice that the same texture can look different on different prims or on different faces of prims. Now when you first apply a texture to a prim, and then choose the Select Face option, you'll see all the faces become highlighted. And the texture completely fills up the face on all sides evenly. And for a cube, this looks pretty good because all of the faces have the same size. But if we start changing the cube, the textures will stretch with each face and start to look wrong. Let's select Move in our Build window, and now let's stretch our cube. Let's start with the x-axis and stretch it out a ways. You can already see that the texture has stretched out with the prim. Now, on the y-axis, let's bring it in a bit, and then with the z-axis, bring it down even more. So now we have a shape that's something like a 2x4. The textures don't look very good now. They're all mismatched in terms of how they fill up each face. And we probably want to fix that. We can do that face by face. By let's select face in your build window and then select the top of your prim. You can see the circle is also stretched out, giving you an idea of the proportions of your texture. Now, if we look in our build window, you'll see scale controls, a horizontal scale and a vertical scale. Let's start with the horizontal scale. And if we click on the up arrow, you'll see it kind of squishes in. And uh, the down arrow, it stretches out, and the vertical one works just the same way, only in the other direction. You can use the down arrows, or just as in other build properties, you can put in, put in a number that matches what you think you'd like. For now, we're just going to kind of use our eye to find a scale that looks good. And try matching it up on each side of the prim. We have a good start there, but 
These faces still look a little bit funny compared to each other. Now let me adjust the vertical the scale a little bit more. There, that's better. Now, in addition to scaling your texture, you can also offset it. So let's choose the top, which is the easiest pr one to see. And let's start with the horizontal offset and click on the up button. And you'll see the whole texture just kind of slides. And vertical offset, of course, works in just the same way, only in the other direction. I don't really like the way this end looks, so I'm going to change the offset just a little bit. There, I like that better. And you can continue on with the other faces until they all look like they're matched up right. Now here, I've matched the textures up a bit more and they look a lot better, but I'm not really still happy with how this end looks. It just doesn't line up right with the other sides. Let's fix this by using select face and select the end. And now if we look in our texture tab and down towards the bottom, we'll find rotation degrees. And if I click on the arrow, you can see the texture starts to rotate. And we're going to rotate this a full 90 degrees. And we're going to fix the scale a bit. So that it better matches up. And let's also do the offset. There. Still not perfect, but you get the idea. One more thing you can do is flip a texture. Let's select the top face. And if you look next to the scale tools, there's these little buttons with arrows in them. These will flip the texture. So I can flip it horizontally. I can also flip it vertically. And if you look at the number values, you'll see that they became negative as opposed to positive. And when I put them back, they become positive again. You have now learned the tools necessary to modify or change the texture of objects. Remember the simple bench we built a couple tutorials back? This would be a good time to practice texturing. Take the bench out of your inventory, res it, and try texturing it. That completes this video tutorial. We'll see you next time. Have fun, keep practicing, and keep building.